There isn't an empty seat in the house tonight as the superstars of ECW Touchdown in St. Louis, Missouri. ECW is setting up shop in St. Louis, and everyone in the city wants to check it out. As well they should, partner. Tonight's show promises to be a roller coaster ride from start to finish. He's using that object with sickening effectiveness. I hope somebody stops this. Well, I sure ain't gonna do it. You're welcome to go out there, partner. He's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt, as long as he's... What in the water, baby? The end is near. The risk these competitors take is a testament to their toughness. Hey, if this was easy, every Tom, Dick, and Joey would try to get in the ring. This is no joke. Thank you, Captain. He's got him covered. One, two. Wow, now that one's not in the rule book. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I think the victim in that assault would disagree with your logic, partner. Edge never met a rule he didn't break. Happily. He also never met a title he didn't win. Notice the connection there, Weisenheimer. His devious ways may draw on the ire of the fans, but they've caused him to win a lot of matches and a couple of WWE championships. I bet you can hear that sound all the way up, even in the cheap seats. <laughs> he just broke his opponent in half with the table. He might break the table in half on his opponent. That rub. If you don't like it, look away, you wuss. If there is a... Oh my God, how can you hope to defend yourself against an object Ugh. like that? Oh. That's the nature of the beast, man. If it's not nailed yeah. down, someone's gonna take it and try to bash it in your head. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, tell you what, one mistake and we're gonna see that fire go out pronto. Whoa, you see that? What a shot! Talk about a difference maker. Very few superstars can recover from physical abuse like that. Mick Foley was extreme long before extreme championship yeah. wrestling existed. He was one of the first, that's for sure. And oh. I remember some of the wars he was in in ECW too. I think Mick still has plenty of fight left in him, and he's showing it here tonight. One, two, no doubt anyone stupid enough to underestimate Foley deserves what they get. Here are your winners, Tommy Dreamer and Terry Funk.